The East Chapel of the Sandy Utah Hillcrest Stake of Zion, of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Construction on her would begin in 1959, with completion taking place in 1962. Several additions would follow in the years to come. For six decades, she stood at 1165 East, 8600 South in Sandy, Utah. Materials and labor would be donated by members in the area. Things were different in those days, which made the finished product mean that much more to those who contributed. She was a reminder to so many of us of the warm memories of our youth growing up in the suburbs. Learning of Jesus, serving each other, not always perfectly, but doing our best. And that's what she did. The East Chapel did her best. She served us well. She was unique. Not of the cookie-cutter variety, but standing on the hill as a beacon to passers-by. Her A-frame chapel roof, complete with a steeple placed at the southwest corner, its base encrusted with rocks from the area. Her walls made of stones that meant so much to those who would see them as they sat to worship on Sundays. The wooden pillars holding up the tall chapel ceiling. The large window that once was located at the north end of the rafters, letting in so much light. The heart rock, fixed directly behind the pulpit, was something we could count on. The blue metal triangles that once adorned the entire building as marks of devotion to the facade. Many would count the triangles inside of the chapel and behind the pulpit creeping their way up to the ceiling. A distraction to be sure from the messages to be shared, but all part of the experience to the attendees of this sacred edifice. The sight of so many mission farewells, homecomings, primary programs, and Eagle Courts of Honor, the West Wing, home to bishops and clerk's offices, the nursery, once the library, the former Family History Center, and so many scout meetings. Ghosts of scoutmasters and Sunday school teachers attempting to wrangle unruly teenagers most certainly walked those halls. The primary room, not part of the original building, but a place for so many to learn and grow and build their testimonies of Christ and the restored gospel. The East Hallway once led to a baptismal font, covered over in the late 1970s when a new stake center would be built on 10th East. The Cultural Hall, jutting out at the far north end of the building with her basketball court and stage. Home to Halloween carnivals, ward Christmas parties, wedding receptions, road shows, square dancing, and more church basketball games than one could count. The view from the parking lot looking out over the Ochre Mountains brought 60 years of beautiful sunsets. Many of those who once walked those halls have passed on, but the memories of them are still with us. This past year we said goodbye to her, the old East Chapel but she will forever live on in our minds and hearts, a memory of more innocent and earnest times, days gone by, but never forgotten. Hey, East Chapel, the last night before they tear it down. It's a sad, sad day. Did my first soccer meeting talk here, my first primary talk, Sunday school. Tomorrow, what, May 13th, we're going to tear it down, unfortunately. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come along. From where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again When I see you again Why'd you have to leave so soon, yeah? Why'd you have to go? Why'd you have to leave me when I needed you the most? Cause I don't really know how to tell you Without feeling much worse I know you're in a better place But it's always gonna hurt Carry on Give me all the strength I need To carry on 
It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see. Feeling so cold. I'll be waiting right here for you till the day you're home. Carry on. Give me all the strength I need to carry To see him, I don't have to touch his hands to know that those nails pierce through mm, to save the sinful man. I don't have to be there, don't have to roll the stone away to know that he rose from the dead to overcome the grave I know he lives I know he lives Jesus the Lamb the great I am I know he lives even in my worries 
And so it was that the demolition of the East Chapel took about two days. On the morning of Thursday, May 13th, 2021, she stood proud, and less than 36 hours later, by the afternoon of May 14th, 
she was gone. There will be houses built on that site. One hopes that those who reside there will appreciate the history of the land on which they'll live. The East Chapel taught each one of us, and she will live on within us forever, in the things we do, and the way in which we live our lives, how we treat others, and how we choose to follow the Savior who gave his life for us. When you think about it, it truly is glorious. There are times when you might feel aimless and can't see the places where you belong. But you will find that there is a purpose It's been there within you all along And when you're near it, you can almost hear it It's like a symphony, just keep listening And pretty soon you'll start to figure out your part Everyone plays a piece And there are melodies In each one of us Oh, it's glorious And you will know how To let it ring out As you discover Who you are Others around you will start to wake up to the sounds that are in their hearts. It's so amazing what we're all creating. It's like a symphony, just keep listening, and pretty soon you'll start to figure out your part. Everyone plays a piece And there are melodies In each one of us Oh, it's glorious And pretty soon you'll start to figure out your part. Everyone plays a piece in their own melodies. In each one of us. 